Right, so I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, how to customize your Discord, add a theme, you know, uh, customize all that stuff. So before we start, I just want to say that doing anything with Discord, like customizing it, is against Discord TOS. However, just adding a theme or changing the look of your Discord should not get you banned unless you flex on it in like verified uh, Discord servers, in which case there is a chance. But uh, if you don't, there shouldn't be any chance because they won't have any real way to know. And please remember that when you are doing this, you are doing this yourself. I am not contributing to anything, I am only showing you how to do it, okay? So, <laughs> please keep that in mind. Uh, but before we start, uh, look at this. <laughs> this is this graph is not fake, by the way, this is real. So if you want to help getting the 0.4 percentage of people that are subscribed to me higher, please do subscribe, it will help me out a bunch. And I would really appreciate it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So for this video, I'm going to show you guys two methods. One method we're going to be using uh, Goose Mod, and the other one is we're going to be using Better Discord. Now you guys should know Better Discord better. However, I just want to showcase Goose Mod, which is also a good Discord uh, modification tool um, that I use. So uh, we're going to be doing this on Discord Canary. This will also work with Discord PTB or just Stable Discord which most of you guys are probably using Discord table, but if you have multiple accounts and you want to access them all from the same PC that you probably have, uh, like this, Discord stable, Discord PTB, or Discord Canary, so whichever one works both with both of these methods. So I'm going to be showing you guys uh, with better Discord first. So I'm just going to open a Google Chrome tab. I want to go ahead and follow this link. It's going to be linked in the description below. So just go ahead and press the download button. And once you're once you press the download button, you're going to get this exe file. I just wait for it to download. Once it's finished downloading, just go ahead and open the file. Press run. You're going to get this window, license agreement. Uh, press I accept the license agreement and go ahead and press next. Now press install better Discord, which is the top option. Press next and then pick the Discord version that you have. So go ahead and uh, for this, for this, I am going to be using Discord Canary, so press that. But again, if you're a normal Discord user, then you're probably going to be using Discord Stable. So, you know, make sure that uh, you get the right version of Discord and once you have the right version of Discord just press install and just wait for the installing process this shouldn't take a long time now once the install is complete your Discord canary is gonna close and it's gonna reopen again and this time you're gonna have better Discord on here if you go to use settings and then you go down there's gonna be better Discord settings and everything so you can have uh, your own theme for example now I showed you how to make the theme in the in another video which you guys should check out if you want to know how to do that but for now we're gonna go ahead and go to the second method which in my case is the better method so I save you know the best for people who stuck around <laughs> oh god so first uh, you're gonna have to clean your discord you know get rid of better discord so how you do that is, is you simply just want to uh, open the better discord installer again press accept and then go ahead and press uninstall better discord go press next pick discord canary and uninstall and there you go it should be gone and now i'm going to be showing you guys how to install goose mod and for this one i'm not going to be using discord canary i'm going to be using discord ptb and the reason being that goose mod has a little bit of problem on discord uh canary so yeah, we're gonna be doing it on uh, Discord PTB. Now, keep in mind that it will actually install in Discord Canary. There will just be some other problems. So, yeah, I have Discord open on this tab. So now we're on this site. It's also gonna be linked, uh, goosemod.com. Now go ahead and press install, desktop. Now pick which version you're on. And again, right click. If it says Discord, then just press stable. But I'm using the PTB for this one, so just run it. And you're gonna download a batch script file. Now press keep. Now just run it. Press run. And wait around 3 seconds. And your Discord PTB or whatever Discord you're running is gonna restart. And then it's gonna update. And and once you're updated, it, you're gonna have uh, Goose Mod installed. You can press no interest or whatever. Now as you can see right here, underneath friends, there is Goose Mod. Which you can see all, this, all the plugins they have. And all the themes also. Now, if you're on Discord Canary, there will not be a Goose Mod uh, thing right here. However, this might change 
with time the uh, newer version might fix this but as of the time I'm recording this video discord canary does not have this goose mode part over here so uh, yeah keep that in mind so in here you can just go ahead and go down here and you know scroll through the themes there's already a lot of pre-made themes already here so you can just kind of pick whichever you really want you'll find one you like press install and there you go you have it now you can go to plugins as well and you can also just pick whichever you like press install and you'll be able to go to user settings go down here and you will be able to well customize everything that you already downloaded and then there's also goose mod settings where you can change all the basics of your goose mod so yeah that's pretty much it so now i'm going to show you guys how to uninstall goose mod now this is the only downside i see to this is that you have to uninstall the app to get rid of it so first of all just go ahead go to add or remove programs just find this and remove it uninstall once it's uninstalled, um, you shouldn't be able to run it, obviously. So go ahead and press uh, Windows key and R. And go ahead and type app data in percentages around it. Press enter. To find Discord Canary, just remove that. And then you have to reinstall Discord Canary. It's going to do all the download updates, all that stuff. And it's going to ask you to sign in again. Just go ahead and sign in. There you go, Goose Mod is gone, and you have a clean Discord now. So I forgot to record an outro, so here it is. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully the tutorial was, you know, useful for you guys. And as you can see in my background, I have an animated wallpaper, and I actually got this for free. So if you want to know how to get a background wallpaper for free as well that is also animated, you can check the link on the top right of the screen on the card. Or you can go down to the description, uh, there's going to be a linked video there where I show you guys how to get an animated wallpaper for free. No, you don't even have Windows 10 activated and you can still do this. So uh, go ahead down there, check the video out. And uh, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and you know subscribe. You know, Check out my channel, maybe there are some other tutorials that you guys might like. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys next video. Bye.